Hey everybody, this is Jamie Buter with 432 Design, and I just heard a news report that that uh, the, the Department of Energy and uh, IBM and uh, another company, uh, was it Cisco? No, NVIDIA. Uh, so IBM and NVIDIA, they just came up with uh, what they think is now the world's fastest supercomputer. Okay, supposedly it does like 2,000 trillion bits of information, you know, per second or something, you know, something phenomenal. But here's the, here's the issue I have, is that it's the size of a tennis court, all these computers, and it takes 22,000 gallons of water to cool it. I mean, that's, that's the average swimming pool. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, it is like the automobile industry that for, you know, over 100 years has had the same piston engine, same kind of combustion using, listen, listen, folks, look, there is a better way to do computing, a, a much better way. It's, look, one of the things with, with doing computing, right, it, with, a, with, a, with a semiconductors using chips, you got uh, a, a one or a zero. It's either, it's either on, right, or off, right? And this is it. So you got two choices. This is the binary code. So they're trying to cram all these different, all these um, uh, d diodes and semiconductors and all this technology into this and pack it small and small and small. I mean, I get it. It's been working for a while. I mean, if you think about it, your cell phone right now has more computing technology than, than the uh, Apollo 11 spacecraft did, okay? So, yeah, we've gotten a long ways. We've gotten a long ways with our automobiles. We've, you know, done some things, but how, how is the fuel economy? We still can't get over 100 miles per gallon in fuel. I mean, if you're looking at doing computing on and off, that's it, and it takes, <laughs> it takes a tennis court worth of stuff you know, to and 22,000 gallons of water to cool it and all this electricity. I mean, that's ridiculous. Now, what if there's a way using a vortex-based mathematics to do nine computations? Right? What if you could do nine computations in the same time that it takes this to do one or two? On or off, on or off, on or off. Well, what if you can do simultaneously all of this in the same time you can do two? All right, that's what vortex-based uh, mathematics can, can do. And it's a whole different technology. If you're interested, give me a call. Shoot me an email at 432design. Jamie, J-E-M-I-E, at 432design.com. look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.